My scrumptious pumpkin pie is sure to win the national dessert competition. It's a shame it's so far away. Summer's Hollow is like three days away. Don't worry, my uncle owns the best train station. He'll surely be able to give us the top class train to take us there. And it'll be a memory for a lifetime. Thank you so much, Ember. I'm not sure what I would do without you. What are friends for? Ivy! Ember! How can we help to transport this pie safely? I brought a picnic basket to take it in. And it's all ready to go. So I'm just going to walk very slowly to the train station. Looks like it's all sorted, so we're ready to go. Yeah, meet you there. Wait for me! We're finally on the train. It was you getting here that took forever. You can say that again. Maybe let's introduce ourselves to the people on board because we're going to be around them for the next three days. I guess so, but I'm just going to talk to the conductor quickly. I don't want anything to happen to my pie. I'm sure nothing will happen to it. It's not some jewelry or anything. No one's going to actually eat it. I guess you're right, but better safe than sorry. My friend here has entered the national dessert competition and she wanted high security on it. Sure thing, it is no problem to me. I'll put it on that high table over there. Thank you so much. No problem. Maybe let's talk to the other people on board. No one touches my cake. Oh, sorry sir, we didn't mean to cause any trouble. We just wanted to introduce ourselves. Oh, my deep apologies. I am so this Kate. I know, coincidence that I'm a baker. You're baking too? Four people on board are going to the competition. That's so cool. This is the bone that I made. Very good, I know. Uh, yeah. Everyone, it is nine o'clock, so please make your way to your cabins and have a good night's rest. I will be here all night because I really don't want anything to happen to any of the desserts for the competition. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you. to sleep now. Conductor, I have a complaint to make. I'm sure whatever it is, I'll be able to help. My cake has been stolen. <gasps> I was up all night. Well, if you were, my cake wouldn't be gone. I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. No, no, look, where is my cake? Sir, I am deeply sorry. I was sure nothing would slip past me. Not even a cake. Yeah, yeah, I know you're sorry, but how can that help me make my cake? We only have three days until the competition starts. And for me, one let us be, one chance for perfection. So, what am I going to do? So, I'm sure you can bake it again. Like I said, one time perfection. Can you please find it for me? I'm sorry, we don't have enough time. And I'm sure you can just bake it again. I knew I couldn't trust this company of ten. I can just put a complaint in. No, no, please don't. I'll do an investigation. Everyone out. You heard her. We're going now. Okay, then. The floor is completely clean. No footprints. Whoa! <laughs> I slipped over that silly piece I was of sleeping, of paper course, because I'm very tired. I found some evidence. I should start interviewing. I was sleeping, of course, so, because... what I... were you doing last night? 
I was sleeping of course because I had a very late night the previous night. Okay then, have you ever ran into Lancelot, the raccoon on board? I have never met him before. Well, I have heard of him, his baking looked very good online, and I've used one of his recipes before, but don't tell him I said that. I am my own baker. Cake has been stolen and we have found some evidence, so could you please stand on these paw prints? Okay then. Your paws are too small for this. You are excused. <sighs> I was so nervous. I thought I might go to jail for a crime I didn't even commit. <laughs> Next. Hi. What were you doing last night? I was reading a book. It was a very good book. It was a biography of Steven Spielberg. Very well then. Have you ever ran into Lancelot the Raccoon on board or ever I am very sorry though, I don't know if I can help at all. That's okay. Now, could you put your paws on here to see if they match? Sure. Once again, your paws are too small. You are excused. Thank you. Willow, what were you doing last night? I just went straight to sleep. That's pretty much it. If you say so, could you stand on these paw prints to see if they match? This is ridiculous. I don't have paws. I have flippers. Just do it. See. Okay then, you're excused. Sir, where were you last night? I was talking with Sir Biscate. Did any of your conversations include the contest? Of course it did, because we both are entering. And why are there are these footprints on the floor? Stand in them. It's a piece of evidence I found. See, I am innocent. I would never say so to someone's I need dish. To plan the Why is Why everyone's, everyone's paws, paws too, too small, small to fit this? this? Very well then, you are excused. What can I help you with? I fully trust you that you would never sabotage this Last night dish, I was reading my favourite favorite fashion sure blog. Sure thing. I'm afraid they don't match, sorry. Maybe someone else did it. Yes. What were you doing last night? So, I can't what else remember, do you have I'm to sorry. Have. I have to go now though. Need to plan the after party. Hmm. You're one of the last people that I've interviewed. But you know I didn't do it. Do I really? Yes, I can prove it. Last night I was reading my favourite fashion blog. Do you have anything else to include? Stand in these footprints. It matches perfectly. What do you have to say for this? That I didn't eat the cake. This must be a fake. Very well then, I take my notes and you can go now. She seemed quite, quite suspicious. suspicious. I'll keep, I'll that, keep in that in mind. mind. Now to now look to for look more, clues. more clues. Hmm. No clues so far. Let's have a quick check again. A book. Steven Spielberg autobiography. Wait, let me think for a second. It was a it was very, very good, good book. book. It was a biography, biography of, of Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. Willow must have done it. But the footprints and the book doesn't add up. Maybe I should just leave it for another night. Everyone listen up. Are you going to say you found as a thief? Yes, just, just wait. Everybody listen up. The clues haven't added up. I'm going to leave this for tomorrow so the case is paused. This is ridiculous. My cake has been stolen and you just do nothing about it. Maybe we should just leave it for another night. It might help. You must be saying that because you stole the cake. No one talks to my friend like that. You're the one who stole my cake. Hey, stop it. You can't just accuse anyone. But we are in the room of a cake thief. That pet could be anyone in this room. That is why I'll be staying up again and waiting until everyone has gone to sleep. Because we can't have any more commotion. 
But why would any of us do such a thing? We all have our own desserts to enter. Those were my exact thoughts. Up until I realised not all of you have been entering the contest. So we'll continue this in the morning. Everyone, you must go to sleep now. It is 9 o'clock. We'll finish this debate tomorrow. You can say that again. Once again, can you have top security on my pie? It took forever to make, and I would hate for it to get ruined. Can't promise anything after this debacle, but I'll try and do my best. Thank you so much. After all of this, I guess I could just go to sleep. It's three in the morning. I'm so tired. What about, what the, about cake? the cake? What if, what if one, one of the cakes go missing? Or the pie or the bones? Oh, what should what I, do? I do? Then again, then again I've warned I've everyone enough, enough, so why would anyone do, do such a thing? thing? Yeah, I yeah, think I'm right. right. I deserve a good sleep. My cake's gone missing. How could you sleep through this? My pie's gone missing. What did you not get from top security? <sighs> I assure you I did not sleep through any of this. And nothing went missing. Wait a second. Where is your cake? And your pie? Could you please start an investigation for us? It'll mean a lot. Sure thing. I just need you two to go so I can search the room for clothes. You've got it. Thank you so much. Hmm. A necklace? And a hat. I don't recognize any of these items. But why but would why any, any of us do such, do such a thing? thing? No one no talks, one to, talks my to my friend, friend like, that. like that. Or do I? Yeah, I was wondering that too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what did you want from us? You're looking a bit plain today. Uh, what? You usually both are wearing something interesting. What's going on? Do you recognize any of these two items? No, not at all. Can I ask one question? Sure, what is it? Why are you lying to me? I am not lying. That necklace is yours and that hat is yours. Did you have anything to do with the tragedy last night? No, I was reading my fashion magazine. You used that excuse last night. Magazines aren't that big. So please, admit it. I didn't do it. Neither did I. If you say so, once again, I'll give this one last night. And then I'll find a solution in the morning. Something's, Something's a bit, a bit fishy, fishy about, about this about investigation. investigation. So, so, we better, we better get, get sorted. sorted. It is 9 o'clock, everyone head to their cabins. Maybe I should just go to sleep because every time I do, I get further and further into the investigation. So, why not? clues, three people. The necklace was embers, the party hat was willows, and the book was maze. So they all did it. Everyone, I know who did it. You are probably all curious of what happened. And I had the story to tell it all. That night, I got too tired and went to sleep. And then, Ember slowly walked in and inhaled the smell of the delicious cake. And then she decided to grab it. But then, the mark of her paws stained it 
leaving a piece of evidence behind. She then saw me and ran off with the cake. But that's not all. Something even worse happened. Two dishes were stolen. May entered the room quietly. She scanned the room to see if anyone was there while reading her book. May had wanted to eat the pie ever since Ivy started baking it for the competition. So she smelt it and grabbed it. Willow was questioning why she just left it, so she quickly grabbed the basket and placed it back on top of the bench so no one would notice. Then, Ember saw the other cake on the bench, and after the dessert she had last night, she wanted some more. And she dropped her necklace while grabbing it. Willow then came, because her friends wouldn't share a bit of their desserts with her. So then, she grabbed the baskets with both things in it. And then, from her past experiences, she learnt not to leave a trace. She scanned the room just in case. And then that leads up to this morning. And then, that leads up to right now. So, do you agree with all these facts? Because I know, for a fact, it is all correct. Did you do the baking crime? Okay fine, yes we did, but Ivy wouldn't let us enter the competition. She wanted us to watch her, so we all got jealous and wanted to eat some good food. And then we did, and then now we are in trouble you say? Not exactly, I came up with a solution along the way. Their contest starts in 3 hours, and our train ends in 3 hours. So, you four don't have a dish to present. So why don't you collaborate all together and make something marvellous? You can use the kitchen on board. What do you say? Sounds amazing. Great idea. That is going to work perfectly. I am so excited to start this. But I have to have my three best friends to help me. I made the mistake of doing it all myself and I shouldn't have done that. Do you guys want to help me? Of course. Yeah. Sure thing. So we just need to melt the cheese, so put it on top. Done. That melted quickly, it's almost ready. You can now take it off. I'll put it in the blender. Time to go to the contest. We're surely gonna win. See you next time. The winning baker, well, I should say bakers, the winning bakers, they baked an extraordinary cheesecake. Three of them are highly famous bakers, one owns a bakery, and three are their friends. Congratulations on first place, and here is your medal. See you next year. Can't believe we won! I know, right? This is amazing!